What if space is teeming with highly advanced civilizations that long ago built heavy-duty telescopes and watch us not just from afar, but see us as if under a microscope? Meanwhile, we don't see anyone. But soon, we'll stop being universal losers because NASA's already allocated a $2 million grant to build a telescope that can observe exoplanets at a resolution of 25 kilometers per pixel. So, in this video, you'll find out why can you accidentally see breasts through our telescope? What space phenomena do we urgently need to examine more closely? And most importantly, why does humanity need a telescope the size of the solar system? In 2022, using the Japanese Subaru telescope, scientists managed to see the farthest object ever seen from Earth, the HD1 galaxy, located 13 billion light years away from us. But here is its photo taken by the telescope. Yeah, that space nipple is an entire galaxy, as if it was snapped on the first phone with a 110 pixel camera. For better quality, our telescopes need larger mirrors so that the lens can gather more light. In Chile, they're already building the extremely large telescope with an almost 40-meter diameter primary mirror. But there's something better. Lenses thousands of kilometers in diameter. And they don't even need to be built because they're stars, black holes, and other galaxies. The light of a distant object entering the galaxy between the object and our telescope distorts the true shape of the source of that light. An ordinary lens does the same. The light hits it, gets distorted, and the object behind the lens seems much larger. And the very large array in New Mexico has detected as many as 22 of these potential gravitational lenses. One of them is the Ogle 2005 BLG 390L star. With its help, scientists found a planet, which they unofficially call Hoth because of its resemblance to the cold and rocky planet from Star Wars. But scientists have watched it much less time than they would have spent watching the director's cut of the movie. That's because the star that played the role of the lens moved away somewhere, and the Earth-Lens exoplanet axis broke. Scientists need the object, Earth, and the lens to line up. But unfortunately, this moment doesn't last forever. And what if we use the sun as a lens? As with any camera, to get a close-up shot, we need to move away, creating a longer focal length. A ray of light from any galaxy or exoplanet we want to see will bend around the sun from all its sides as if it's surrounded by a ring. To see it clearly, we need to be at a greater distance from our planet. Scientists claim that the minimum focal length is 550 astronomical units, which is 14 times further than Pluto. But astronomers don't have to go there. We can just send a small telescope into space, like Hubble for example. Such a mission is going to take a while because Voyager 1 sent in 1977 traveled just 135 astronomical units in 40 years. The scientists who will launch the telescope into space won't live to see the first results. Another obstacle is that the sun is actually very bright. It's kind of like taking a mirror selfie with a flash. Therefore, it's necessary to consider how to obscure it. But there is one huge plus. If the lens or the observed object shifts and falls out of the line we need, we'll just move the telescope to the required place. But wait. In order to rotate such a telescope by one degree, the spacecraft must travel 10 astronomical units, that is, the distance from Earth to Saturn. Yeah, it'll cost several generations of astronomers much effort and time, but at least we'll have a chance to see if other planets have life that could be watching us, huh? The 30-meter telescope is the very device astronomers and astrophysicists around the world have been waiting for. 
The images taken by the new telescope will be 12 times sharper compared to the Hubble. The 30-meter telescope will capture nine times more light than its largest counterparts. It sounds promising, I agree. Scientists have been expecting to soon be able to see exoplanets with their own eyes. Look into distant galaxies, take a closer look at black holes, and study dark matter. Such great hopes were put on the telescope and its mirror, which is more or less 30 meters or 98 feet in diameter. It was supposed to open unprecedented opportunities in space exploration. According to the plan, the observatory was to be built by mid-2020. But something went wrong. As it turns out, the place chosen for the telescope is to blame. This location, where 13 telescopes of 11 different countries are located, has somehow become unfavorable to the construction of yet one more. I'm talking about Mount Mauna Kea in Hawaii. The sleeping volcano is a perfect location for astronomical observations. Everything comes together here. The highest mountain, low humidity, and good clear weather almost year-round. Also, the absence of large cities and light pollution. This spot could be an ideal platform for the new telescope, if not for one but. Has this volcano, asleep for millennia, suddenly woken up? No, this isn't the problem. The last eruption of Mauna Kea happened about 4,500 years ago. Scientists have no doubt that the awakening of this volcano is unlikely to happen during our lifetime. Of course, it's risky to build expensive telescopes near the mouth of a fire-breathing giant. Yet, what we won't do for the sake of science, it's clear that this isn't the issue. There's a force stronger than any volcanic eruption. This force stands in the way of the engineers and builders of the giant telescope. So, what could it be? They call themselves Kia'i. This is a group of native Hawaiian people that advocates for the sacred mountain of Mauna Kea. They believe that building such a huge telescope would anger the spirits and desecrate the land. The Mauna Kea volcano is the highest peak among the five peaks of the island of Hawaii, and therefore the most revered. In Hawaiian mythology, it was believed that the summit of Mauna Kea is the kingdom of the gods. In ancient times, only the highest leaders and priests were allowed to climb the mountain. Later, members of the royal family were added to the list. You understand now what a special place the scientists decided to make the center of great discoveries. A confrontation between the local residents and science has been going on for more than five years. During this time, the defenders repeatedly blocked the path to the telescopes. They lay in the middle of the road and tied themselves with ropes. The first protest happened during the foundation-laying ceremony. This struggle for the land has taken on an incredible scale. So, in 2019, all 13 observatories on Mauna Kea had to close for four weeks. People weren't allowed to work. There's never been such a long downtime in the 50-year history of Alpine observatories. Scientists nearly missed an asteroid headed for Earth. It got out of sight 13 years ago and reappeared during the pause in telescope observation. No one managed to calculate its trajectory. Scientists could only hope that a collision wouldn't occur. Luckily, it turned out to be so. This case made it clear that telescopes should work nonstop. Project managers for the construction of the telescope had to find a backup location. The choice was the island of La Palma in the Canary Islands. This small volcanic island is home to 21 telescopes. It may become a platform for the new observatory. Yet some scientists worry that this location won't justify the money and effort invested. It's not as high as the location on Mauna Kea, and this may affect the viewing quality. 
Also, only 20% of nights on the island are precipitation-free, which is insufficient to fully explore the atmospheres of exoplanets or observe the earliest galaxies. So, should we stop hoping for great cosmic discoveries? The future of the 30-meter telescope is unclear. Even if it's built on an alternative site, it's unknown if it will perform optimally. Fortunately, this telescope is just one of three projects of a large, new generation of ground-based observatories. In the Atacama Desert, in Chile, construction of the giant Magellan Telescope is going according to plan. Comparing the area of the light-capturing surface, it's inferior to the main character of our video. But this telescope is very capable. With its help, it'll be possible to obtain information about dark matter, one of the main components of the universe, which is not easy to find. Dark matter, like an invisible ghost, is almost elusive for today's telescopes. Astronomers have to look for it indirectly, by observing how its gravity affects stars and galaxies. All of this can change with the new telescope, named after the famous navigator. It'll help to map dark matter more accurately. Exoplanets, ancient galaxies, the study of interstellar matter are some of its exploration goals as well. The extremely large telescope is also being built in Chile. Its mirror will capture 15 times more light than any existing telescope. The clarity of the images will allow us to study the atmosphere of planets outside the solar system. Just 10 years ago, scientists couldn't even dream of this. Today, they boldly forecast an increase in the number of inhabited exoplanets that can be discovered. This telescope will observe the stars in distant galaxies quite easily. In short, the telescope should revolutionize astronomy, astrophysics, and cosmology. There's more. Earth won't be the only place from which serious space exploration will be conducted. In about 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope will be sent into orbit. It'll be equipped with a deployable sun shield. Indeed, in near-Earth orbit, under the direct rays of the sun, objects can be heated to 121 Celsius. That's 250 Fahrenheit. This screen will help maintain the spacecraft's temperature below minus 220 Celsius, or minus 364 Fahrenheit, which is necessary for infrared observations. According to researchers, observations with the help of James Webb and ground-based super telescopes ideally will complement each other. Perhaps then, hypotheses about space will be confirmed faster, and new planets and stars will be discovered more often. I don't know what fate awaits the 30-meter telescope. Perhaps it'll appear in the Canary Islands, and despite the imperfect conditions for observation, it may well still surprise us. Maybe the defenders of the Hawaiian volcano will agree with the scientists and allow the construction equipment to reach the top of the mountain. Time will tell. Where do you think the telescope will be built? Write in the comments. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.